Yeah. Well, and people always tell you that the match is the way to go, right? You got to get that match, that company match. Well, the one thing that they don't count on is like, again, going back to fidelity, I ran their numbers last year in 2023. I said, what's their 10 year performance of their retirement target date funds? Cause they show that most millennials, almost every millennial now percentage wise uses the target date retirement funds as where they invest. Well, I went, I went and looked at the performance. It was 8% almost flat for the 10 year performance. Here's the problem. The stock market, the S and P actually did 10.1%. That means your retirement fund did less than two, did 2% 2 worse. And that's before the 0.75% fee comes out, right? So you're really losing about 3% compared to the normal stock market average, which is not fantastic. The normal average of the stock market is about 8% when you factor in long-term, that last 30 year average. Well, if you're doing 3% less than that, that means you're making 5%. And even if you get that match, even if it's hundred percent, when I run the numbers for people and showing the actual real returns, they usually only add two or 3% a year. So what does that mean? You just basically made up for the bad performance in your Fidelity 401k. You made up for it to basically make the stock market returns, which is not enough to really become financially free anyways.